and welcome back to my channel. This week's ingredient is ground beef. And for the second recipe or second video or second meal, I am going to make some mapo tofu. Usually it's I know that it's made with ground pork, but since you know I have ground beef and why not? You know, like if I try if I'll try it today. If I don't like it, I'll never make it again. Or if it's bad, I wouldn't recommend it to you guys. But you know, why not? Let's try it. So yeah, let's just begin. So if you have chili oil, you could just use that. If you don't, what you want to do, you just want to add lots of oil. You're going to want to add some pepper flakes and just kind of make that juice. You want to add some scallions or green onions and some minced garlic. Yum. And then I'm going to add the ground beef. You could ground pork, of course. And guess what? I seasoned my meat. You and if you no, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I never season my meat, but you know sometimes I do. So I seasoned it with some uh, oyster sauce, a little bit of like half a teaspoon, half half a spoonful of oyster sauce and salt and uh, black pepper. Okay. Now I'm going to add chopped onion and chopped bell peppers, green bell peppers, a little bit of water. Okay, let's just start off with that much. Okay, a little bit more water. Yum. Okay, on here I am going to add like a, another small spoonful of oyster sauce and for today's like kind of a main thing besides the ground beef I guess is this sauce chili bean sauce I know that you pronounce it tubanjang in Korean but I don't know really correct me if I'm saying this wrong it's it's called tobanjang tobanjang I'm sorry but yeah this is basically chili bean sauce and you could make the mapo tofu without it but I guess like one of the ways to really bring out the authentic taste, I guess. I know that this is nowhere close to authentic, right? But I'm gonna add about a spoonful. One, I'm going to add a little bit of tofu. This is, I bought a fir firm tofu, but I let it, once I, um, I cut it into cubes, I let it sit in the hot water or I actually boil them once, one time really, really quickly. Um, yeah, let's add them. Some people use the um, the softer tofu or even the silk tofu, but I don't know. I don't. I'm afraid that they're gonna break apart, especially the way I cook. You know, I'm not the most graceful person when it comes to cooking, and you guys know that. But oh, it looks so good. Hmm. Mm. Wow, it's pretty good. All right, if you don't know what starch water is, it's basically um, I, well, I'm using potato starch, half spoonful of potato starch with a uh, half spoonful of water or spoonful of water. So one thing I know that some of you guys might not be aware of what starch water does in cooking. One of the reasons why um, people put cornstarch in their food is because it not only it thickens it, it actually keeps the water hot. It actually keeps the food hotter longer. Um, this is so good. Okay, I think this is perfect. It's like a little bit. Okay, a little bit more. That's good. If you add too much, it, you start to taste 
Like the, like the bitterness to it, so don't add too much. Okay, I think that's really it. Uh, if you want, I'm gonna add sesame chili hot oil, just a little bit more. And that's really it. So I'm side dish here. And for the rice, I have some torso. So this is stone ball rice. Actually, my first time trying it. It looks really good. Uh, let's try. I actually really want me to start trying this. Uh, this one is rice, rice water. No, what is this? Morning rice drink. Keep refrigerated. Shake well before serving. Okay, I might really not like this. I'm scared. Like rice drink. Like, hmm. Okay, okay, it's like it's not the worst, but it's very creamy. It's not that sweet. It kind of has that yogurt color to it, but it's not sweet or anything. I had to refrigerate that, but mmm, it's very interesting. I feel a lot of. I feel like my mom and dad would like this. Mmm. Okay, well, let's get some. Oops. Mm. Oh my god, this looks so good. I'll let it cool a little bit. This is, um, Ojingo cha. So it's dried calamari, marinated in like sweet spicy sauce, and this is merchi, anchovies, also marinated in spicy like sweet sauce. Oh, I think this is a sam canned salmon. I'm gonna, I think I'll skip on this one. I'm gonna save it for later for something else. Huh? I think this is good enough, right? Mm. Oh, wow. mm. I kind of want to like mush it. It's so good. I've been wanting to make mapo tofu for a long time. Mmm. I heard that the word mapo tofu basically just comes from the lady who created it. I love pantan. Actually, when I went to, when I went to Korea last year, If you go to this restaurant where they give you like literally at least at least like twenty side dishes. Mm. 
I really don't like this drink. Ugh, what should I do? Ugh, I don't like it. It definitely doesn't go with my, um, the actual meal. Maybe it'll go with some kind of dessert. No, this is so good. I love spicy food. So, I used to see a lot of comments of people saying, why do you make so much food when you can't even finish it? And it stopped for a while. And in my last video, I actually saw a lot of handful of people commenting, why do you make so much food? Is it for the views or... Why do you always make so much? I actually kind of wanted to mention this again just for my new viewers and new subscribers. Compared to how much I used to make or prepare, how much food I used to prepare for myself, it shrunk a lot, and I know that some of you guys noticed. Compared to when I started my video, I think I, I could definitely eat, eat a lot more, and I prepare a lot less. And one of the things that I really want to achieve in my videos, or what, what I want to come through, I want to look make it look really appetizing and very like a hearty meal and if i only make like quarter of this because it's only only how much i can eat let's say it just doesn't to me and my sander it does it, i don't know it does just doesn't seem as appealing as i make like a whole pot of it you know and yeah sometimes like i do make too much but i try not to And I don't always intend to leave leftovers. I always do try to eat as much as I can. But if I'm full, if I can't stuff it in anymore, you guys, I can't. I don't think I'm going to stuff it in. Just for the sake of trying to finish the the food. When I can save it for later and give it to like my boyfriend. Or like I could eat it later or something like that. And I feel like sometimes I have to make a lot <clears throat> for the sake of like a different recipe or, you know.
Actually, I wanted to talk about stress today. I see a handful of people telling me that Kimmy, you look so sad. You look so depressed. Maybe I don't know if you guys are just saying that, but I have been a little stressed lately. I don't really know. I don't exactly know what it is. I can't pinpoint to one event or like one reason why I'm so stressed. But I'm frustrated, you know? Just a lot of things that, you know, like money is one of the big, big stress. Um, I mean, as much as I try to not to worry about it, Sometimes I just feel a little bit more sensitive than the other days where you know, I worry about it a little more than I should. And like to be honest, having a roommate is I'm mean, having to live with somebody else, like my boyfriend for example, is a extra stress that you never had before. On top of that, I have a roommate. It really does add on to like you know other it, it, it does add on to my frustrations and stress because, you know, just things here and there. And also, like, there are things that I want to accomplish next year, like, by next year, that I'm worried, I'm stressed out that it might not even happen. You know, maybe I'm a little greedy. I just want to achieve so many things that it actually stresses me out. So what, what are you guys stressing about these days? I know that a lot of you guys are still in school. So I understand you guys stress over finals, exams, you know, your resume, like, like what job you're going to apply for. You know, I'm very glad that my school years are done. That's over. Because, oh my gosh, I hate stressing over exams, finishing a project on time. Like, I hate stressing over that. Especially exam. Oh my gosh. It was, I would not exchange anything. Like, I would, if I, somebody asked me, hey, would you rather be stressed over exams and finals? Over, like, trying to pay off your bill? I'm like, I would rather, pay, you know, worry about my bills and other stuff that worry about exams because oh that much I, that's how much I hated it and I so I know I know some of you guys are going through a lot and it really is stressful but if you're gonna stress over it either way might as well do really good at it, so go, st go study. <laughs> One thing that I do really regret um, not doing in college years is that I didn't study enough. Like, I feel like I studied... Okay, I, I think I studied enough but that was a problem i think i should have studied more than enough but then again i didn't really know what i wanted to be yeah i was in the agriculture department but i still wasn't really sure what i wanted to do you know
So one of the biggest um, things that I've been kind of struggling with lately with uh, my channel is that it's not even about the comments and people trying to like people calling me fat or people telling me like oh you're stupid you know whatever like whatever people comment it's not even about that because there's so many of you guys if it's like 20% mean comments 80% of you guys are so encouraging so I'm over it. it's okay like in the beginning it was really stressful but now I just kind of like let it be but one thing that I do struggle a lot with my channel is I always worry about confidence like is my video good enough or is um my recipe or like my meal that i prepared today is this good enough like whatever i'm talking about is this good enough for this video for me to upload so it's something that i've been struggling a lot with and i think it comes down to confidence because sometimes i'm not confident with my content That's why I wasn't uploading a lot last week. Because I was a little confused, you know? Like, oh, like, whatever the idea that I had. Oh, I don't think it's good enough for me to even, like, film. So, I kind of, like, kind of like, pass it. And eventually, I just don't film it. But I'm kind of gaining back the confidence again. Like I just, I I just try to enjoy it now. I think for the past couple of weeks. I w okay, hold on, I'm gonna search this because this is really bad. I've been struggling with... <clears throat> well, like, I've been, you know, obviously I've been struggling with, like, my content and, like, I wasn't even, like, confident about it. And I, I, it just kind of, like, hit me, like, in the, I remember that when I... Even at the other apartment, I was always having fun. You know, I, I was always excited to film. But past couple of weeks, I felt like I had to just meet some kind of standard. More than like, oh, I want to I wanna prepare this meal today. Or I want to eat this today. You know, I want to like go to this. I want to make this kind of video today. You know, more than that, I just felt like I had to meet, a, meet some kind of standard that somehow my channel created. So that's why like I was just, that's why I didn't really want to film anything and even if I filmed out I just wasn't really happy with it. Well oh, this is so this is like my kind of food. Spicy a little bit of sauce. Just like mix it with rice. So good. Okay look this might not I might not finish but these are side dishes. You're not supposed to finish them. You're supposed to save it for next meal. Oh, I feel like my head really hurts. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm stressed or whenever I think about something, like, my head just kind of, like, aches. I kind of want to heat up this a little bit. It's kind of getting cold. And another thing was that you know, so many of you guys really enjoy my videos. Like, so many of you guys really enjoy that. But it's just not with, like... And this is not something that I felt for the first time in my life. But there were so many... There are a lot of times where I feel like, man, if I don't meet the standard, I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm going to disappoint somebody. And I've been feeling that more this week or last week. 
my past couple of weeks, but again, I'm, I'm again, it is getting better. I'm trying to find my confidence, um, kind of like trying to prove to myself that like I'm okay. But this this is actually my first time using this. The rice is perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. So I just want to say that if you're stressed about anything, especially if it's something with your confidence that you don't feel confident about something, I'm with you. <laughs> I really don't know what to like. I don't. So I want to tell you guys something that I want to hear to make you know, make feel better and not stress over it. But honestly, at this point, I don't even know what I want to hear or what I need to hear to make me feel better. You know? And I think, I mean, I've never been a guy, so I never, I don't know. But I feel like confidence is that something something that girls struggle with more. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying all guys don't, but some guys I'm pretty sure do. But, and even like tone stresses over here and there, but... Yeah, I think girls struggle with confidence a lot. And I know a handful of people who I thought, you know, like, I've seen some girls, I heard of girls that they're so skinny, they're pretty, and they're smart, and this and that. Like, to other people's eyes, they're perfect. But if you actually really hear this story, they go through a lot of stuff. Like, they're not confident about their look. They're not confident. They feel stupid sometimes, you know? Like, so you don't really know what the person's going through. You can't just, like, you, like, just even for example, like, for example, like, you see people living their life on Instagram or something on social media. You think that they're going through, they live a perfect life. You don't know that. You know, like, people, everybody, like, 99% of people want to show other people that, hey, my life is good, my life is better than you kind of thing, but... Behind the scenes, they go through so much. They go through other stuff that you could not imagine. So even if they look like they're perfect to you, and like you know, you know, they just go through some other stuff that you might, you, you know, you probably never thought they would. Anna, what stress are you going through? You want to eat this food? <laughs> I love him so much. One thing that does make me feel better, and one thing that does motivate me, is Ame. Ame. Whenever I look at Ame, I'm, I maybe it's like, I know that I'm not like really a mom or anything, but I am responsible for my dog, right? Like I look at him and like he needs me, you know, like he needs a uh, like a strong, independent woman. So that kind of gets me going every single day. Surprisingly. And I know that some people might, might be like, are you serious? A dog? A dog motivates you to live your life? <coughs> whenever I hear that, whenever I hear someone say, it's just a dog, it's just an animal. Like how could you compare it to a human? You know, like, this is one thing I really want to, like, get it through their head, is that it doesn't matter if they're just a dog to you. They Like, I could hold a different value in them that you can't imagine. I'm gonna stop it. I'm finishing my food, my little Gucci's. I will not see a single comment saying, why didn't you finish your food? Like, if you're literally talking about like, these piece of rice, I'm gonna block you. I'm just kidding. I don't even know how to do that, so. Here. Like, I know that there's so many like, big mukbangers that they eat so much. I just don't understand. Like, does it fill up, like, everywhere on their body? Like, I... Sometimes I just don't understand. But, I gotta say, they are born to make these kind of videos. They're born to eat a lot or something like that. 
but I'm not, guys. I am a very average person who eats a large amount of food. I get full. I can't eat anymore. <coughs> but I still have room for desserts. Oh, I'm so full. Oh, you want to eat it for me? You want to tag in? I wish. Oh. oh. So, yeah. so salty. Honestly, this, the anchovies are okay, but this one, the one that my mom is so much better. This is store bought, and it's actually really, really crappy. Ah, oh, my head really hurts. Maybe I should show you guys how to make this. This is actually really good. I think a lot of you guys will like it. I'm so full. I have this much left. I'm gonna finish it. Can't go on. I'm too full. Oh. Oh. I'm so full. Oh, I hate this world. I am so effing full. I mean, can you finish the video? I mean, can you finish the video? Thank you for watching! Mm -mm. High five, I mean. Thank you, everyone! Please give this video a thumbs up! Subscribe if you haven't! And come back next time for my videos! Woo-hoo!